The Social Le Dilemma is a, a documentary on Netflix about how social media is basically like ruining the foundations of our society. Everyone has their own set of facts that they're given, and these facts are as a re result of rabbit holes that are designed to constantly feed people content that resonates with their worldview or is purposefully against their worldview so that they have like strong emotional reactions to their social media news feeds. This leads to political polarization. Basically anyway. this idea that like you get a custom feed of information that doesn't matter. We're not, we're not concerned with the truth. We're concerned with what's going to make you use our app the longest. I, I said this when you said you want me to watch this. I said if I hate this I'm going to bill you for it. <laughs> Noah, do you have your wallet? I do have my wallet, but I don't carry cash, James. You don't so. carry I'm going to need you to get your Venmo, Venmo. app open. Yeah, I will. I'll I'm Venmo gonna, you I'm five bucks I'm going to need you to Venmo me five dollars. <laughs> <time. laughs> I'll do it. And, like it. and I gave you a discount. <laughs> no, I didn't like it. It was horrifying. <laughs> That's horrifying. I'll pay you yeah. right now. Can okay. Oh, you just gave me your... <laughs> <laughs> I gave you my power of attorney over say, my phone. <laughs> so we're going to do five dollars. Can I make it five to make it more? What do you think, Steven? Five's fair. For yeah. ruining... <laughs> I'm my Your <laughs> Tuesday night. Guys, also, this is a multimedia show, so if you want to go ahead and follow me on Venmo, you can see this post. It is, in fact, real. What do you guys think yeah. about this okay. dystopian okay. social media the hell? goes game. terrible. There were never apologies. I don't yeah. feel like I, I felt like any of them actually expressed remorse over what they did. They're like, well, we just didn't know. And it's like, what do you mean you didn't know? You specifically set out. Yeah, this was your job was your title. Literal you literal hack the human psychology yeah. using an algorithm that's only going to get better the more it works and gets more. Of I have a bunch more questions. Um, okay. From a legal perspective, uh, yeah. why have these companies been allowed to go under? Oh, they're rich. Because they're rich. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because they're rich, they found loopholes in laws, and they hired so many lobbyists. Oh, wait. The legal system was not prepared for this particular thing. Every time there's an innovation, the law always catches up. And all of people. this is like super, super recent in legal right. terms. I remember Facebook being created when I was in college mm -hmm. and being like really excited because my campus was like one of the first ones to get it. It, it felt like it felt extremely modern. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh my God, look at look yeah. at us. It was yeah. one of those, like, I can't believe no one's ever done this before. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Especially when, so you, you used to have to have an EDU account. Yep. It was just students. We didn't realize that they were slowly buying us. That, <laughs> yeah, that eventually uh, they were going to destroy the world. Yeah. Yes. I <laughs> remember <Same> being <laughs> upset when they were like, we're going to expand Facebook to anybody, not just current. Yeah, I don't know why. I were being students. very upset. I think my dad got one because he had an educational email address because he was a teacher oh he said you know look i made this facebook account yeah. and i was like that's really cool and he's like i'd like to add you as a friend i promise i won't you know intrude yeah Cramp and your i was style. like cool so i accepted the friend request <laughs> and he sat there in front of me on his laptop and he scrolled through every single tagged photo what of the me hell? and asked me who i was with <laughs> like oh who's that oh who's that my God. Like, who's I that went, he's curious who's that lady went unfriend. Yeah. oh dad i'm so sorry oh, God, I, don't know what I, I got hacked if you were to create a like electronic internet bill of rights like you're gonna amend the constitution you guys get your pens you're the founding fathers of the internet bill of rights <laughs> if you are tasked with protecting the average american on the internet from these big massive companies from being like mindless drone consumers of advertisements yeah uh what do you do as a I regulatory would, I body? I would make sure people knew what data they had. Or... I think you should have to opt in. I think it should be if you want to use Facebook, you can either pay or you can opt yeah. into our advertising. Do you think that artificial intelligence should play a role in no. advertising? No. The biggest thing for me was the <laughs> notification cycle. Gotcha. Right? I don't care that much if you know Facebook is keeping track of like what ads I click on so that they can give me more ads like that. But like, what I don't like is when you know all these there's like cross-platform sharing. If I'm Googling something on my home computer and then I get onto my phone yeah. right, and I jump on Facebook, Shouldn't be able to track you. I'm going to see ads for stuff that I've been Googling. Sure. And that is awful. I don't like that cross-platform sharing where it's just, you know, creating this image of me. I think we should control access and the kids. It's weird that we have these check marks when people are celebrities and not just check marks when we can verify the person's a real person. You have to do it for Venmo. They think it might be fraudulent. You have to mail them or you have to send them a selfie with your ID. You should be able to verify that yeah. and verify dates of birth yeah. using official documents. If yeah. we were to summarize our internet bill of rights, you got to be 18, 16? The first Sorry. thing we do is we create... Regulatory Don't put body. words in my I'm mouth. Not gonna... You stole $5 <laughs> um, from me. <laughs> you gave me $5. <laughs> I'm you stole, pressure you stole an hour and 38 minutes from me. <laughs> you, you track it? We exchanged. Yes, I 
put it in as billable hours. I think we need to get a panel of experts. I think you have to look at what age are people coming into this? Um, what kind of uh, notifications and systems are we letting them develop to like loop people back in? Yeah. Um, and then I think you have to regulate what kind of advertisements you're allowed to put in there and how much you can hide it. I, like, I think political advertising is out of control. So like for me, I think social media should have zero social political media ads. should have no ads. That, no, no, ads. Sorry, no political ads. All political yeah. ads. If they <laughs> want to try to manipulate me into buying some shoes fine like well, yeah. I, that's okay i just don't like it when it's advertising that uh, that's designed to manipulate what you think is going on in the oh world. yeah and like, yeah, like it's trying, trying to manipulate to your world you view instead of trying to just sell an item guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this let us know guys our law firm is dedicated to uh making wills and trusts and helping people with end of life legacy preservation um because of that we've created a pdf a downloadable pdf that is basically an intro to everything that you need to know about estate planning basically the process of making sure that everybody gets what you want after you pass away um you can go ahead and download that link in the description um, to get that PDF, basically you will learn everything that you need to know to create a great estate plan. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. By the way, if you would like to work with us, you can give us a call at 404-939-7562 um, or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. Also, if you could share this on your timeline, that would really, really help us out. Guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.